behind me is the Supreme Court, where it appears clear that very soon one of the most devastating, harmful decisions uh, that the court has ever made will be handed down. The leaked opinion uh, tells us what we knew, uh, that Republicans and conservative movement have packed the court with judges who are intent on criminalizing abortion, who are intent on substituting government for women and families when it comes to decisions made over health care and reproductive rights. Um, this is an abomination, but it's frankly um, a fight that we knew was coming. Uh, and so um, just behind me uh, on the other side of this phone is the United States Congress. Uh, and we now have a political fight on our hands. Democracy means that no decision that the Supreme Court makes is ever final because we can pass laws in the United States Congress to protect a woman's right to choose. State legislatures across this country can be elected that will protect a woman's right to choose. Uh, I came to Congress um, almost two decades ago um, as a believer uh, in a woman's right to choose what to do with her own body. And my belief has never wavered. No matter what the Supreme Court does, no matter what this opinion finally looks like, um, we now have to go out and build a movement that changes the competition of the court, that increases the number of members of the Senate and the House that are willing to stand up for a woman's right to choose and changes the composition of governor's offices and state legislatures all around the country. This fight is just beginning and well, um, I understand today is going to be a day filled with, with sorrow and sadness and anger and anxiety. Um, our work now has to be to find a way to channel that into political action this election and for elections to come. I'm here at the stolen Supreme Court where Republican justices with the stolen seats are ready to repeal a pregnant person's right to an abortion. We have to do three things. One, we have to repeal the filibuster. Two, we have to codify Roe v. Wade. Three, we have to expand the Supreme Court to protect against this ever happening again. And every American knows the stakes. We want every American calling their senator to demand that they protect, not take away, fundamental constitutional rights to demand that they stand up for America, the American people. We will overcome this decision, and it's going to require the great awakening of the American people. And what last night delivered was a wake-up call to the country, the first time that I can remember in recent times that the Supreme Court has taken away and is attempting to take away a fundamental right under the Constitution of the United States. So we got to fight back. We got to fight back to protect the Constitution. We got to fight back to protect American families. And we got to protect the health and welfare of American women.